So in this video, we're going to talk about renewing your Microsoft Azure Administrator Associate Certification. Now, up to six months in advance from when your certification expires, you're going to receive an email from Microsoft with the subject action required, and it will tell you that you have a certification that's going to expire on a certain date. And so again, you have six months to prepare for this. Now the renewal of the exam is completely different than the initial taking of the exam. The renewal is free and it's done completely online from home. There's no proctor. You're not registering with your license. There's no webcam involved. You're just taking an online multiple choice question assessment. And if you pass, you will renew your certification for another year. So the initial expiration is one year from the time that you took it and you need to do the online assessment every year after that. Another thing that is important to know is that the renewal is not as comprehensive as your initial test. See, if we go down here and we click on renew your certification, it's going to take us to this page here. Now I haven't signed into the Microsoft Learn site, so this is not personalized to me at all right now, but this is the portal for the renewal of the administrator certification. Now you can see here that these are the topics of the renewal. At the time of recording, it's talking about these eight topics. Now in the original AZ-104 exam with the Azure Associate Certification, there are dozens and dozens of topics. So this assessment is only limited to these eight topics. Now these topics are going to be things that are relatively new in the last 12 months that are important for the exam. For instance, it's talking about Docker, it's talking about Azure DNS in this case of administrator, service endpoints, Azure backup, Kubernetes, and Azure AD. These topics are what is focused for the renewal. Now the renewal is free and what you can do is if you don't pass the first time, you can take the assessment again immediately. So you can take it twice in the first day and after your second attempt, you need to wait 24 hours between retakes. So if you have 180 days of notice to renew this certification, then technically you have 181 chances to pass this test. And so technically you could just take the certification assessment repeatedly and you will eventually pass, right? The material will start to sink in. Now, Microsoft does also have a collection of Microsoft Learn modules. And so all of the topics of the exam, you can see that there are free training on the Microsoft Learn website relating to these topics. Okay. So if you just wanted to sit down now, this is according to their timing, it looks like about six or seven hours of effort. I don't find these timings particularly accurate. It's not going to take you one hour to get through this, I guess it could, but generally you'll get through this in 15 or 20 minutes, or you can just review the things that you're not sure of. Okay. So if you're good on a lot of these things, but it's the DNS that you really haven't played with in a while, maybe you want to review this. My personal recommendation is to take the assessment. You get two takes in one day for free. I would just take the assessment because there's a good chance that you'll pass and it's going to take you about 15 minutes to go through the assessment and maybe that's it. You take the assessment, you passed, no preparation required, and you're good for another year. So I would start by taking the assessment that gives you an overview of your strengths and weaknesses. When you take the assessment and fail, Microsoft will actually recommend specific learning modules for you based on your weaknesses. And so you'll get your own personal collection to take the renewal a second time. So maybe you take it, if you fail, then you do the preparation based on Microsoft suggestions and you take it again. As you can see, taking the renewal is a lot less onerous than taking the original exam. The amount of content covered is very specific. It's multiple choice questions done on the web. It's not the same level of scrutiny. You don't have to have a room with a locked door with no papers. 
None of the same requirements as of taking a real test. Just take it. There's no time limit. I believe you can take your time with each of the questions. So that is how you do the Azure Administrator Renewal. Again, look out for an email that says action required from Microsoft. And that will, that will tell you what you need to do to renew your certification.